In this video, I will show you how you can use looping to optimize a parameter for a data mining algorithm. And in this very specific case, we are optimizing the k-means algorithm. As data, we are going to use the iris data. The iris data set contains of five attributes, four numerical features and one class attribute. Afterwards, we are using a k-means. Here, we configured it to have three clusters. And afterwards, we are using an entropy score, which based on the original classes, compares the clustering and scores the quality. The last row filter node filters out the quality from the result of the entropy score. So you see, after the row filter, we get the final clustering result with a 0 0.736 in this case. And we are now want to repeat this not only for one clustering, but for the clustering 2, 3, 4 and 5. For this task, we want to use the interval loop start node. We will now use the interval loop start node to iterate over the different case we want to investigate in this use case. The variable we are generating will start at the from value, in this case 2, and goes over the different iterations up to the to value, in this case 5. And we want to step in steps of 1. We want to generate an integer and we will leave this variable prefix as it is. This will only change the name of the variables which are generated by the interval loop start node. In the output table of the interval loop start, we are now taking a look at the generated flow variables. There were four flow variables generated. The loop value, which is the current value of the loop, there is the loop from, which is our start value, the loop to, which is our end value, and the loop step size. And all of the variable names are started with the previously configured prefix value. We, of course, also need to close our loop using a loop end. And we will here use the most default one. which only collects the data over rows. Before executing the loop, we also need to change the way the k is chosen in the k-means dialog. Instead of manually entering it, we will use the flow variable we generated with the interval loop start. You select use variable and select the loop value. Now we can execute the complete workflow at once. In the resulting output table, you now see different qualities, which were generated for different case. As a last step, we now also want to include the K, the current inspected clustering number in the final output table. We therefore will use the variable to table column node. And in the variable to table column node, we only select the loop value to be added to the table column. By re-executing the node, we can take a look at the afterwards generated data table and we'll see that now loop the loop value 4, k equals 4, gets the best result using the entropy score. 